Yeah, for sure. And I, I, I say that tongue in cheek, obviously, but right. you know, I, and I've had plenty of adjusters to tell me, oh yeah, no, I just uh, I take a bunch of photos and then I just, you know, I just take a billion photos and then I, I'll write my scope and estimate from those photos. To say that that's uh, a waste of time is like understating the word waste. <laughs> This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Haig Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HaigEducation.com. Honestly, wouldn't it just be easier to just look at your photos later? You know, whenever you get a chance to finally sit down and write that estimate, just to like, just, just write your scope out off your photos. If everything worked out great, that would be good, but nothing ever works out great. And so even me, I I've, I've would get back to my van like, shoot, I thought for sure I took pictures of these turtle vents, or I thought for sure I took pictures of these damaged gutters, and I didn't. No big deal. Let's get out, go take my pictures. You, you always want to have a system, but your system isn't going to be perfect, and so that's why you need to take those pictures there. Well, I take the pictures you need there and not back at your hotel room trying to write it up from photos because you're going to forget stuff. Yeah, for sure. And I, I, I say that tongue in cheek, obviously, but, right. you know, I, and I've had plenty of adjusters t tell me, oh, yeah, no, I just uh, I take a bunch of photos and then I just, you know, I just take a billion photos and then I, I'll write my scope and estimate from those photos. Um, the, to say that that's uh, a waste of time is like understating the word waste i mean it's it's just I, I can't even to take when you need to take 60 photos for a loss and you take 360 photos for the loss and then you have to go back in and figure out your scope from those 360 photos and then delete all the photos that you're not going to use and then import and label those photos or label them or whatever. I mean, that is not, I, I know guys do it thinking, well, this is gonna save time because I, I won't have to write a scope while I'm at the house. And I can, I can th th the thought process is, I can scope a whole bunch during the day because all they're gonna do is they're not even gonna take their clipboard with them. They're just gonna take their camera and they're gonna just run around the, the whole house and just take a billion photos, right? And then three days later, seven days later, whatever it is, when they finally just decide to sit down and start writing these up, they're gonna like pull their card out and have to find all those photos, right? Unless they've got some sort of a weird system for putting them in folders or whatever. Assume they have a, a system for it, right? They're gonna have to jump into those photos and try to remember this house out of the 13 houses on, you know, in that neighborhood that are all kind of have the same basic construction and architecture, right? Because they're, they're all made by the same builder and tease out what was wrong with that, that house, right? And then realized that they didn't get the measurements uh, and then realized that they didn't get, you know, they didn't get any close-ups of any damage, right? They just took a, a whole bunch of wide shots. W wouldn't it be faster just to, to write down on a piece, I mean, honestly, on a piece of paper and just say, and this is how I always did it. You know, if I'm in a room here and I'm gonna write a, an estimate for a water spot on the ceiling, I'll actually, I won't write water spot. I mean, I could, I have shorthand for it, right? I could say a water spot on drywall, but I'm actually gonna write this out just in case things go sideways and I can't actually close that one at the house. I'm gonna say drywall, popcorn, right? Um, the size of the spot is, you know, 18 inches in diameter. Um, this is, I know there's blown in insulation because I peeked into the attic, right? Blown in insulation, sealant paint. I'm gonna write my, I'm writing my whole estimate right there in just a little short, shorthand list on my scope sheet so that later it's sitting in the car uh, even if it's only like 10 minutes from when I just did that to like actually writing the estimate, it still helps me to not have to guess or try to like remember or whatever. It's just like, oh, those are the line items. Put those in and I'm done, right? I don't, there's no, I'm outsourcing thinking out of my brain, right? And putting it onto a piece of paper. And it's, it, it's so much faster, right? The photos that I took are the, the, only the exact photos that I needed to, to, to tell the story of the loss, period. I don't have... A whole bunch of extra photos. Every time I hear an adjuster say, well, you know, I take a whole bunch of extra photos just so that they have more stuff to look at. A little part of my soul dies because nobody's looking at those photos and you're wasting everybody's time because they get a, 
sift through a gazillion photos of downspouts to try to find a picture of the the window wrap that you mentioned in your estimate, right? Don't just take the photos only of the things that you need to. You know, the only place I would say to take more photos is if there's no damage, right? Get get a bunch of photos of showing no damage so that later, when the, invariably that storm chaser starts canvassing that neighborhood the desk adjuster doesn't have to send it back out to the field, right? And waste everybody's time for them to go, nope, but there's definitely still no damage to this house. You've got a, a, a lot of good pictures of that. Coming up on Adjuster TV. 